It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Dolphins and the Chargers. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the L.A. Chargers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, New LCD. New season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday looking at two teams with great expectations here to begin 2023. It's always fun to get a new season started, isn't it, partner? Because every A new season of NFL football is here, and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. Now Tua Tungavailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. Injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season. He led a Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league, and even more importantly, took them to the postseason for the first time in six years. That jump they were looking for from him, it absolutely occurred. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. They'll swing this out wide. Here's A chain. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Now the rookie third-round pick. It's Devon A. Chain. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A. Chain was one of the big backfield home run hitters in the 2023 draft. One of the fastest players in the class. Miami excitedly drawing up plays like that for him from the moment they set that pick in. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Looking to pass, Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And Waddle gonna have a Dolphins first down as he's across midfield to the 48. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48 yard line. A give up the middle to H.A. And he's gonna be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Two are going to throw. Throw caught by Achey. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Well, such a great week one matchup here, the Dolphins and Chargers. And fairly or unfairly, these two QBs are going to be measured against one another probably for the rest of their careers. Remember, Tua was the number five overall pick in 2020, and Justin Herbert followed him at number six. And let's add on to it because Joe Burrow went number one overall. He's led Cincinnati to one Super Bowl appearance. Jordan Love, also a first rounder, getting his opportunity in 2023. And Jalen Hurts was a second rounder with Philadelphia, and he's made it to the Super Bowl. So all in all, quite a class. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And again, it's Tug of Iloa. Quick slant. That's caught by the 5'11 Landry. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 18. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. This is shaping up to be a really nice looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. First and 10, it's Edwards away with it. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Joey Bosa so strong, able to find his way in there to make the play. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave them with a third and five. 
Tua sets up to pass it. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up a first down. They go back to the ground game with A-Chain, and he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Second and goal from the one. Now Tua. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Chance is good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches on the right and three drive. They were looking his way for the third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. A chain is into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way Jason that they started Sanders. this ball game. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it was finished off with a touchdown run from Devon Aiche. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And that's too tall for his receiver. It's incomplete. Quentin Johnston, the intended receiver on the play. And it's second down. Now their versatile running back. Here's Austin Eckler. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. Here's Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Running on first down, Eckler. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and ten. Going to the air, Tug of Iloa. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The Dolphins on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. 
Here's Tua. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game. And those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series. But they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. Davis now to return it. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Chargers in good field position to start out. First and 10 at their 38. Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. The result only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Play action. It's Herbert. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Out of the gun, Herbert. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And points result, we'll call this play significant. Williams, a man in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he gets it down to the 32. That one a first down pickup of eight. Eckler has long been one of the most underrated players in the NFL, but he's now starting to get his due. 915 yards, a career best last season, with 13 touchdowns on the ground. On first down, Justin Herbert. His throw incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Now it's Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to three. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and ten. Again, Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll make it second down. Here's Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And the Dolphins with one final possession here in this first half. 
And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. That is incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Two and once again here on second and ten. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. This time they stay on the ground. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. But we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Herbert now. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they look to cash in. Excellent field position. Four-yard line first and goal. Wilson. Able to fight. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. Jeff Wilson taking it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this taken in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. LA set to take over again on offense. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to seven, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. Herbert on first down now, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Up the middle with Eckler. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. Holding offense. That's not good enough, man. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Back to throw here, Herbert. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. 
How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. And that one too wide and incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and it'll be Dolphin football. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. From the gun, it's Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. And we're going to get a timeout as they deal with an injured player, and it's Tyreek Hill who is the man that's in some discomfort right now. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one, just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Again, it's a chain. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Throwing now is Chunga Bailoa. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And now it's third and three. Looking to pass to him. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. The kick by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that could all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Final minute now of the third quarter. Here's Herbert now on second down. Johnston on a quick slam. Quick slant there, gets him the first down, six yards on the play. A give, Eckler running to the right. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's Charger football, but they trail here as we get going in quarter number four. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Just a gain of a couple there. 
third and seven now. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, just to add that to the list of great moments for this defense today, they've really shredded that game plan on the other side all four quarters. And, Charles, that pick six, that's, that's kind of the cherry on top. Yeah, and they did it, and I feel like I'm quoting a bad movie line, but they did it together, didn't they? Fed off of each other, every big play they made, every tackle, every pick, everything they've done. They continually built energy in this one, and how about them culminating with a pick six? So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. Fresh off of six the other way, it's Herbert. It's Williams on the catch. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. On first and 10, Herbert. Complete to Johnston here. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's another Chargers first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. On first down, it's Herbert. And a quick throw here, that's complete. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. To the air again, Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 17-yard line. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here from the shotgun. Here's Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down Personal at the foul. one. Face mask. Defense. So give him the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So on now you don't march hit. off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. They'll look to run with Spiller. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Chargers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. And the Dolphins are going to recover. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. 
and field position leads you to that type of play calling and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep those types of things now that they've given up that type of field position the advantage is switched to their opponent. Landry the receiver in motion left now a fake on the jet sweep and they'll instead run up the middle and he'll work down inside the 45 and what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts they've got all three still defensively to me you have to start right now here's the time and that means you've got to stop them on defense not give up the yardage use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself but now is the time to start using those timeouts and keep in mind it'll also stop the clock at the two minute warning nine yards to pick up there and it's a first down so the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in and no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And he is going to have a Miami first down, and the Dolphins are going to win the football game. Now a timeout here, an injured player, and that's Jalen Waddell, who seems to be in some discomfort. More from L.A. in a moment. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. And they'll run here with a chain, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll look to run with H.A. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Devon A. Chain making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Dolphins are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Sanders on for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was finished off with a touchdown run from Devon H.A. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Charger defensive unit making their way back out there. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Herbert. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. Fourth down for Herbert. Desperation time. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't Brings lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. 
Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. On fourth down, Herbert. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, and right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress.